on Shea Bear 1000 here. Today we're going to continue work. We're kind of actually start work on this. We're going to try to start this thing up. There's a couple things we're going to check before we pull the flywheel off. We're going to see if we can get this thing to fire up. So stick around. Should be fun. It's real windy so I got this mic on me and hopefully you guys can hear me okay. So hopefully this video don't turn out to be junk or crap. Ain't that right John? Stick around. Okay guys, so yesterday, what I forgot about was, remember I turned the ignition switch over and nothing happened. I was forgetting this has this old canister coil in it, and it has to have 12 volts going to it. If it doesn't, it's not going to spark. Now there still could be an issue with the uh, with the points, but I think we need to check and make sure it's getting power to it and make sure the switch is okay first. So I'm going to get my test light and we're going to see if we got power to that thing. Okay guys, I know you can't see down in there. I got the key on. <coughs> Excuse me. I did uh have this battery on trickle charge all night on two amp but about every hour i came out and i would put it on um 200 amp for five minutes it did take a little bit of a charge i don't think there's 12 volts in it but it is lighting the light so i got the key turned on i'm going to put this on the positive side of this terminal and see if it lights up and it does i don't know if you guys can see that i don't know what you're seeing here uh, let me see. See, it is lit up in my hand there. I shut the key off. Okay, so that's working properly. I still don't have crank on the key, but so that means we are going to have to pull this uh, flywheel off. And we're going to do that right now. I'm going to get some tools out here. We're going to pull that flywheel off. And what we're going to do, I may measure that off camera to see if it is getting a full 12 volts, but I'm pretty sure it is. But it's probably best if we just go ahead and check that flywheel. So I'll get you over here. The best, the best I can get you guys in here. And let me get some tools. We're gonna pull that nut we're gonna pull the side cover off first and then we're gonna i'm gonna take this off here in a minute the gas tank off i can't look in the gas tank because i can't get the lid off right now but so i'm gonna have to pull the side cover off and it looks like it might be a pain because it goes i don't know if there's any bolts down under here which there should be we'll have to see so let me get some of this out of my way. Let me get some tools. We'll check the points. Alright guys, I took the wireless mic off because her mic cord, those are monkeys, her mic cord's a little bit shorter than mine and kept stretching. I was afraid I was going to unplug it. And it's really hot, so I'm sorry if you get any wind noise. I'll do the best I can. I've already, I'm taking this hood off. I've already got two bolts out of the other side. Okay, now this coil will come un unplugged. It doesn't look the greatest. That's where an animal chewed through. Right there, pack rat. Let's move this out of the way here. There we go. think let's see it's a bolt here I'm gonna have to take out the ground the ground cable and 
looks like there's something here there's one over here there's a couple here for the coil but I don't think it actually holds it on I don't know let me see what I can find out I'll go ahead and pull this off off camera because it's not really a how-to video I'm not going to do too many of those nobody gives a shit anyway so so let me got shocked just wanted to show you real quick it's a good thing that it had that cap on it because there would have been so much stuff up in that engine and carburetor it's unreal all right let me continue on I got the coil dropped off down there so. okay guys this is what I was talking about yesterday if these aren't cleaned out these are air fins damn light and what that does is see there's fins on that flywheel what it does is blow air up through here and across the head and over to the exhaust if those get clogged it's not going to get the air it needs and it'll overheat on you so and same way if you run them without these they will heat up and they will get hot <coughs> excuse me and cause some major damage to your engine so sorry about the shadow all right i'm going to continue on all this was so far was a bolt on each side and that and that top bolt there bolt on each side and that top bolt there so uh now i gotta find out what's going on with this thing <laughs> i know there's got to be some at the bottom i'm not sure how to get to them ones yet i haven't worked on a whole lot of john deere's but of course it's not a john deere engine it's a kohler engine so uh but it is a 74 so I don't know a whole lot about it hang tight guys so i was sitting here wondering i was like the old briggs and stratton used to have the points on the outside easy to get to see you didn't have to pull that flywheel off and this wire is what got me this wire here because it was going up in there but it does have one of those set of points right there right under here's the points so but I still wanted to get that cover off so I can get all that cleaned out. In order to take that cover off, you gotta pull the damn engine. So I'm gonna do the best I can to get that cleaned out. And when we first start it, I'll leave that off for a minute, blow some of that stuff out of there. And I think it'll be alright. So anyway, should just be this screw here and the point should be under there and we'll check them out. Um pulled that cover off to get all that stuff out of there I'm gonna pull that front pulley off there so three bolts holds that little uh, accessory pulley on and get some of that blown out just more of this blown out down here there's a bunch of stuff up in here <coughs> excuse me that need blown out so I'm gonna do that and I'll bring you back when I go to clean the points we'll see what's going on with the points I might be able to, if they're not stuck, I might be able to flap them a couple times, and I got some point files in there, run, a, run some, run a file over it, and then we should be able to open and close that, and that should spark. Uh, if not, it may need a set of points, I don't know, we'll see. Okay, again guys, sorry about the shadows and stuff like that. As you can see, I'm taking this one screw out here. that up here so I don't lose it. There might be two in this one. Yeah, there's one down here at the bottom. But I did unbolt this engine because I wanted to I wanted to get that other cover off of there. But I can't be lifting, you know what I mean? And uh, to take all them belts off and stuff, usually these are slotted where you just loosen it and it comes out. But looks like this may have had some paint work done on it at one time. Shoot. Well, I dropped that screw. 
you there. And right here's the points. They don't seem to be stuck. They could be clean. I have seen worse. Let me see if I can zoom you in on that a little bit. Right here's where they make contact. So, if I do that, I should get some spark. But anyway, like I was saying, I think it's had some paint work done on it because I see some overspray there. Um, but I'm going to go ahead. Let's go ahead and hook up the ground cable, kind of temporary. And we'll turn the key on. And we will see if we get any spark. And uh, and if I if we do, then I can uh, I'll go ahead and clean it up real good. I have seen worse. They're not real bad, but they're not the greatest. Okay, let me get this bolt in here for the ground cable, and then we will see if we got some spark. I'm gonna leave you right there. Cause we'll be see we'll be able to see it on the screwdriver too. Okay, let's see if we see any spark down here at the tip of the screwdriver. There is. So let me put put a wire in here. It may have a bad coil because usually you can hear this coil popping over here. So it might just be a coil issue. Um, One today guys All right. I'm just taking the plug out right now now I'll back you out a little bit Let's see if we can see any spark with this what's weird is this thing the fuel line comes down past the carburetor down to a fuel pump and back up to the carburetor Gotta watch that wire because it's been kind of like chewed through. So I'm trying to get get this grounded. Let's see if we can see anything. No spark through the plug. So I'm thinking this coil's bad. I'm gonna go see if I got one. Good news, guys. I don't have to get a coil. I don't know if you can see the tip of that plug sparking or not. But it's sparking like crazy. See, never took it off. Cause I, I believe I got one back there on my old. It's a Kohler, on that old, uh, that old Bobcat. So, I'm gonna button this up. We're gonna shoot a little fuel down in there, and uh, I'm not putting everything on. I'm gonna shoot a little fuel down in there. See if we can get some noise out of it. Okay guys, so I've got a little uh, two cycle gas mix 50, 50 to 1 in here. I'm going to shoot some down in there. Hopefully that valve was closed. And it should fire. If, it's, if it fires, we'll tighten that plug down. We'll try to run some gas through the carburetor. Now here we go. Listen to that. 
Did you hear it, Mama? <laughs> yeah, there's my junk and my crap. Right, John? That all buttoned back up. I'm not putting the hood on tonight because tomorrow we're going to get into this carburetor from the looks of them lines that I took off of there. Yeah, I don't think it's going to run. I'll try to fill the bowl. I flipped, I turned this up. It goes down there. And I'm going to try to fill it up and see if it'll run. But I really doubt it from the looks of what came out of them lines. But it's going in there, but that doesn't mean the passages are clear enough to uh, make it run. So, yeah, that should do it. <laughs> okay, let's fire it up one more time. Yeah, I, I didn't think it'd run like I might be able to keep it running with this. This is what I'm using here, guys. This stuff here. Well, this is, yeah, 40 or 50 to 1. I don't know how you get both, but. I'll try to keep it running by squirting this in there. But I guarantee that carburetor's probably shagged out, man. I'm I'm pretty sure of it but you know we'll let it soak and see if we can bring it back I don't know let's try this I don't have any starting fluid you get the idea it runs yeah it's not gonna stay running Well, we know it runs. That's the main thing. Let me get you up here where I can talk to you for a minute. I'm gonna shut it down for the day. I just been out here messing around with that thing and looking it over, checking all the belts. I know it's gonna need belts. Um, whoops, sorry. Hey, uh, you know what? Let's unhook this battery. Let me point you down there. Unhook the battery off the charger. Let's just see if it took any charge. See, there's the uh, there's the ground wire. I'll put it up here so you know it's not. Wow, I can't believe it took that much on. Okay, so never know. It could come back, but I doubt it after 20 years. Nope. But anyway, guys, so that's, uh, so tomorrow we'll tackle the, so if the carburetor looks as bad as them lines do, then the fuel pump's going to look as bad as the carburetor does. So it's just a bunch of, it's like tar. Damn it. Can't get the lighting right. It's like a tar that builds up in them things, and sometimes you can clean them out. And sometimes you can't so uh, I mean we'll try to clean it and see if that does anything but I really doubt it it's not a big deal um, I do happen to have a carburetor I think that'll fit on that thing so that way I don't have to buy one because you know you know John he don't want me to spend no money because I need a roof in fact I should just pull this direct this this I should just 
pull the Corvette up in the driveway and sell for a thousand dollars and get rid of all my crap yeah that's right I seen you John I seen your first I seen your first one the, the comment that you delete where you know monkey needed to boot my ass to the curb put me into the put me into the doghouse because I brought home a tractor a free tractor which by the way I've got running and no money in it so yeah check this out guys this is what he wrote this is the second one the first one was much worse this is the second one so you know i mean anytime he wants to come down here and pay my bills then he can tell me what goes on here it's none of his business how many tractors i have you know i mean where does he get off saying that the corvette didn't cost us anything her mom and dad gave over twenty two thousand dollars over five years for that vet so how does he figure that if we sell this vet for a thousand dollars that's all profit how does he figure that and also hey john when was the last time you got a roof done for a thousand dollars dickhead god 12 to 14 thousand is what's going to cost to do everything the fascia and all that stuff because it all needs done well if you sell some of your crap and your junk well you know what this 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 is a piece of american history here okay you know there's not there is not one bolt on here that is metric it's all standard all standard bolt half inch three eighths seven sixteenths nine sixteenths you know it's all steel come on except the hood the hood part but everything else is steel you know and I just want to just throw it away and send it to the scrapyard well maybe that's what you do maybe you're a wasteful son of a bitch but I grew up to where when something was broke you fixed it before you just went out willy-nilly and started buying stuff you're bitching at me because I got too many tractors that don't cost me a damn dime. And I should just roll this vet out here. You know, wow, I got three tractors. First of all, it's none of your business how many fucking tractors I have. I share this because you know what? Guys, I don't have to make these videos. But I enjoy them because I enjoy sharing with you and maybe helping somebody, you know, that, that might, might have something and not know how to do it. You know, I don't have to do that. You know, last night, the video on this, four and a half hours to edit and upload because I'm shooting in 4K. I'm filming in 4K, I'm editing in 4K. So, I don't have to do that. And I do that because I enjoy it. I enjoy, these. this is this is my hobby, guys. This is, you know, I can't work no more. I'm out, That that's done. And I'll be goddamn if I'm gonna lay in that house and die and wait to die. I'm not gonna do it, man. I gotta do something. It's a freaking hobby, and it's a very inexpensive hobby. So, you know, when you wanna come down here and pay our bills, you know, and pay our taxes, feel free. Then maybe you might be able to tell me how many tractors I'm allowed to own. Until then, suck my dick, asshole. I'm talking to John, by the way, guys. Um, this is bullshit, you know, I mean, there's been so many times I could've bought, I, I could've bought and sold him. Jesus, I, I've had Corvette. I had a 63 split window Corvette. Now, you gearheads know what that is. I had one of them. I had a couple regular vet. I had a, I had a Stingray. I had a C4. Jesus Christ, I had records. I've had so much stuff. You know, Indian motorcycles. Come on, dude. You know? And let me tell you something, too, by the way, John. That truck over there, a Toyota Tacoma, she bought about 12 years ago. Six thousand dollars. She paid cash. I'm not talking credit card. I'm talking cash money. Remember what they used to look like? Cash money. That boat. Twelve hundred dollars. We bought with cash. Our Chevy Traverse. Eight thousand five hundred dollars. We bought with one hundred dollar bills and twenty dollar bills. This house. This house. She bought right about a year before we got together. Twenty nine thousand nine hundred and yes cash not debit card not check not payments she counted out twenty nine one hundred dollar bills so you know come on get real well more than that you know what I mean it was twenty nine thousand nine hundred so you know she counted all out one hundred dollar bills 
Cause I, she told me, she said, that was the most I ever had on me was 30 grand in cash, all $100 bills. Our shed out back, yeah, cash. Not debit card, not credit card, no payments, no check, cash. How many people can, can, can say, can say that, you know? Jesus. Just, I'm sorry guys, but it just pisses me off when somebody, yeah, you know, and, and then, yeah, you need, monkey, put your foot down, crack that whip. You think you're, you think you're funny, dumbass? We don't do shit like that around here. God damn, she knows I have to have a hobby. I throw all my fucking projects away, my junk, my crap, that's right, I seen the first one, crap. All my crap away, what am I gonna do? Sit in that house and die. Fuck you, John, you're an asshole, you're a dick sucker. God damn. Fucking hate people like that. I show the stuff because I want to, not because, you know, oh, it, well, this is just my opinion. No, see, there's a difference between opinion and ins insulting someone. You're insulting me. You're insulting everything I own, which is, is, is paid for. You got insulted. You insult my intelligence, man. And then you want to try to get me and monkey fighting? Tell monkey to crack the whip on me for what? For what, John? Because I have a fucking hobby, you stupid bastard? Fuck you, dickface. Now, to all my loyal people, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Tomorrow, we'll get on the carburetor on this thing and check it out and see what it looks like. And and uh, I, I figure it's not going to be good, but that's to be expected. I mean, the damn thing runs. Sure, it smokes a little bit, but I am putting mixed oil in. Or mixed gasoline, so it's mixed with oil, so and then we sprayed the hell out of it yesterday, remember, get that valve unstuck. So but it's quiet, no knocks, sounds real good, so you know. Yeah. Anyway guys, again, sorry for the rant. That wasn't for you guys, that was for John only. Um but I told him, you know, go ahead and uns unsubscribe now, so whether he sees it or not, I don't know, and I really don't give a shit. You know, goddamn, there's a difference between opinion and insulting somebody. You know, all your stuff is crap. You need to get rid of some of your crap, is what the first one said. Get rid of some of your crap. And then he's junk. All my junk. These are my treasures, man. You know, I'm 53 years old. I got a hole in my heart with an aneurysm around it. It can't be fixed. There's nothing they can do for me. I got to take medicine the rest of my life. So you know what? I really don't care. If I want to if I want to drag home a tractor, I'm going to drag home a tractor. And monkey don't have a fucking problem with it. You know? Jesus. I can't believe the unmitigated gall of some people. That's just my opinion. No, it's not. You're insulting me. You're saying everything I own is crap. You know? I should just throw it away and buy new. No. Yeah, I know the roof needs done. Hey, John, how do you know we don't have the money sitting in there to get the roof done? We're just waiting on somebody to come and do it. How do you know that, John? You don't fucking know us. Dick sucker. Anyway, again, guys, before I go off again, I'm so sorry to you guys that had to listen to that. But just in case he's watching, I want him to see this and I want him to hear what I have to say. Because if he was standing in front of me and told me that to my face... He wouldn't walk out of here, I guarantee you that. He would not walk out of here. You don't talk to me that way, especially after I spend all this time and stuff to make videos for you guys. You know, and I get haters. Well, you could you could at least put the cigarette down for the 18 minutes that it took you to make this video. You know what, asshole? Shut the fuck up. He didn't say it. Somebody else did. I want to smoke a cigarette? I'll smoke a cigarette. That's how you know this is real. This ain't scripted. I don't, you know, cut the camera and read my paper, what I got wrote down. Hey, Monk, come here. This is what you say when we kick the camera on. That funny stuff and shit like that and our little outtakes, that's not scripted, man. That's real. We're real people. I smoke a cigarette. I'm real, man. You know, I mean, I'm, I'm not going to be like these guys get on there and act goody two shoes and shit. And then you see them out in the bar drinking, cussing, cheating on her old lady, smoking cigarettes. And then, then you see them, see them Monday on, on their next video and they're, okay, guys, so what we're going to do today is shut the hell up, man. Be yourself. God damn. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Shea Bear, the Myth, the Man, Legend. I'm gone for now. Sorry about the rant. We'll see you. Bye-bye.